we talk about this lack of infrastructure at a time when countries like Indonesia are trying to get into unserved and underserved regions, how can Talis help alleviate the problem? Yes. Well, that's clearly a huge topic, uh, well, globally and particularly in this region. Uh, passenger traffic uh, is really booming everywhere, which means that uh, we need to be able to offer solutions to our customers to handle this uh, high density, increasing density of traffic while providing uh, the top level of safety. And in addition, new areas need to be equipped uh, and obviously, uh, what Thales does is to have a look at having uh, large-scale solutions for very high-density hubs, but also very flexible solutions that we can deploy very easily and even operate those solutions without people being located uh, on, on the right location. But by so, that, do you mean the mobile air traffic control yes. towers that India is after? How feasible is that? Well, what we are working on uh, more specifically to serve uh, this underserved area in a matter of urgency uh, to provide solutions is really to deploy remote towers that can be uh, operated uh, from a distance uh, uh, without, with uh, operators locally located uh, in a bigger hub, but then they can monitor uh, automatically uh, these remote towers. So this is a tendency that is uh, being seen in the market to address these underserved areas. What kind of demand are you anticipating for these mobile ATCs? Because you can suddenly see markets like Indonesia, India requiring yeah. these. Yes, we can see a uh, significant demand in that area. What is significant? And, uh, what, can you quantify that for us? Well, uh, what I would like to also say is that uh, all these countries also need to deploy uh, large-scale solutions. Indonesia is a huge country uh, with 250 million inhabitants and a growing number of people uh, accessing uh, the middle class uh, revenue level actually want to travel. What is impressive is that uh, passenger traffic in the world in the next decade is supposed to be multiplied by two and uh, the biggest driver for this growth is coming from the Asia-Pacific region. Uh, and it means that uh, a number of countries will have to find solutions to uh, really uh, be able to handle this much higher density uh, of traffic. And what is uh, very interesting is that new technologies actually provide very efficient solutions uh, uh, to uh, address these traffic questions in a much, much more efficient way uh, you know, in this air traffic control domain, we are moving towards a fully connected digital world and uh, all uh, air traffic control operators are actually interested at looking at how to really right. use these new technologies to provide uh, better efficiency.